Hello everyone, it's Brendan here from the 3D for Medical Medical team. And today I'm going to give a run through of assessment dashboard, a tool for complete anatomy users with an institutional license. Educators can use assessment dashboard to review digital attendance for their courses and to access their students quiz results. Once you're comfortable with the basics of groups, you can begin to use the assessment dashboard. The assessment dashboard can be accessed through the curriculum manager area of the application, or it can be accessed from the browser. So to access from the curriculum manager area of the application, we simply click curriculum manager and click go to assessment dashboard. And this will open up the tab in our browser. We also have the ability to access the assessment dashboard through our sharing portal. So if we select sharing, we see that we also have the ability to go to dashboard from this button here. And again, that will open the assessment dashboard in our browser. And here you see we are looking at the assessment dashboard in our browser. Once you've accessed it for the first time, it is a good idea to bookmark the assessment dashboard page in your browser for easy access. In this case, you won't even need complete anatomy downloaded on your device to access the assessment dashboard. The most important thing to highlight about the assessment dashboard is that I am currently using a demo account. I am signed in as Professor Dan. This is a demo account and the educator and students shown here aren't real. So firstly, I'd like to draw your attention to the account settings button in the right top corner of our screen, which allows us to view and manage our account or profile. So we just select view profile. And you see that we have the opportunity to edit our author biography and we can add our specialist areas. And the author biography will appear on any lectures or courses that you help to create for your students. And to exit the profile section, we can simply click the curriculum manager button in the left top corner. So now I'm going to show you the three main tabs in the curriculum manager assessment dashboard. And the first one is the dashboard tab, and this offers a summary of quiz results and lecture attendance for our students. So to select a specific quiz, we simply select the change filters button, which allows us to select a group, for example, the clinical human anatomy group and a specific quiz. For an example, the urinary system quiz. When we select apply, we see that this quiz is graphed in front of us. We can see the number of students who have taken the quiz and how they performed on each question. So in the dashboard, we get a very question centric approach to our quiz results. I can scroll over the first question to see how many students got the question correct, how many students have not answered the question, and how many students have got the question wrong. And I can do this for each question. And this really allows us to identify problem areas that our students are having and identify areas that we need to put more time into in our teaching. And we can help ourselves doing this by using the filters on the bottom of the graph. We can select correct answers only, which shows where students are doing particularly well. And also again, highlight these areas of need. And this is further accentuated by the incorrect answers tab and the not answered tab. And in combination, the incorrect answers and not answers tab highlight specific questions or specific areas that our students need further help with. We also get a summary of the quiz below the quiz, showing how many students out of our class group participated in the quiz, the average completion time for the quiz, and the average quiz result. We can also download the results of our quiz using this download results button, which will download the quiz in a standard CSV or Excel style format. We also have the opportunity to look at a more student-centric approach to the quiz results, by scrolling through each individual student and seeing that the result that they got for this quiz. Finally, we have a student progress tab at the bottom of our screen, which again can help us to highlight individual students who might require extra attention. We can view their record to see exactly where they are struggling. And just to, to make note again, that this is a demo account. So the educator and students used here are not real. So to take an even more student-centric approach to our quiz results and lecture attendance, we can select the students tab. And this will bring up again, the same quiz, our urinary system quiz for our clinical human anatomy group, but it will show us the individual students and how they performed 
not only overall in the quiz, but how they performed on each question. So we can scroll through to see how the entire group performed in this way. And again, we have the ability to change quiz by using the change filter. We can select a group, and then we simply select a specific quiz or lecture. Next, I'd like to show you the shared content tab. And the shared content tab is a way for educators to keep track of the content that they have shared with their students. It is also a good way to download the results of quizzes. And again, these files will be downloaded in a standard CSV or Excel style format. So not only just looking at our recently shared content, we can also use the filter to be more specific in the content that we would like to show. So if I select the clinical human anatomy group, we can see that we've shared a total of six lectures and 26 quizzes with this group. And again, we have the ability to scroll through these, see when the content was shared and download the results. Or if we would like, we can even choose the view on the graph, which will bring us back to our dashboard tab and represent these results on the graph. And finally, I would like to show you the sharing section of the Curriculum Manager Assessment Dashboard. And it really allows us to do the same things that the Complete Anatomy Application Sharing System allows us to do. And that is that we can edit our groups and we can share content with them. So if we select our Clinical Human Anatomy group, we can choose to view this group. So we can see the members of our group and we can see ourselves as the group owner. And we can scroll right to the bottom to see our entire class group. So to invite new group members to the group, we can simply search for a group member or a student with an account. And I've typed in the name of one of my colleagues there. And so I can identify her by her profile picture and I can choose to invite her to the group. And I actually have the ability to make her an admin if I would so wish. And this would allow her to edit or remove members from the group and also edit or remove content in the group. But on top of this, I actually have the ability to invite multiple group members at once. And this can be very helpful to educators with large class groups. So to do this, we simply select invite group members. And now we have the opportunity to upload a CSV file with the details of multiple group members at once. And we can simply drag or drag and drop the CSV file, or we can use this browse button to search through our file folders. But first it's important to follow the follow these instructions link. And this shows us the appropriate CSV file formatting instructions so that our system can accurately update the members of any group based on your CSV file. And this will just simply ask for the user's username in Complete Anatomy and also their email address. And if we click this link, we are given a sample file that shows how the file should be formatted for when you add members to your groups. And we can simply return to the assessment dashboard. And that really summarizes um, the basics of the assessment dashboard. It's an extremely useful tool for allowing yourself and other educators to monitor your lecture attendance and also monitor your student results. And I hope this has made things very clear for you.